After a series of poor life choices, you find yourself managing a recreational table tennis league. There are 10 participants, and in an effort to make the first round of matchups as exciting as possible, you develop a model that predicts the score difference for every possible pair of players. That is, you produce a 10x10 matrix where IJ represents your prediction for player I's score minus player J's score if they were to compete. Given this matrix, determine the best matchups for round one, the matchups that minimize the sum of squared point differentials. Okay, here's the solution that I came up with. And it's pretty long, but let's go ahead and break it down. So one way we can approach this problem is by thinking about every possible schedule. So every possible schedule is just going to be every uh, set of possible matchups between players. And just to give you an idea of what these might look like, um, you know, obviously there's going to be many more than this, but an example schedule would be player zero versus player one, two versus three, four versus five, and so on. So if we imagine every possible schedule, there's going to be quite a few of these. And the question really is, how do we even uh, build an array that represents every possible schedule? So let's start by thinking about the array of unique player IDs. So let's think about this right here. And I've sort of structured this so that you can imagine adjacent elements as representing a match. So for example, the first two indices or positions represent the first game. So that's going to be between player zero and player one. Then the next two elements represents the second game. So this will be between player two and player three and so on. So if we have this array, imagine every possible permutation of this array. So that's going to be 10 factorial uh, permutations. So that's almost going to be every possible schedule. The problem with this is that we'll end up with uh, duplicates. So for every matchup, for example, the matchup 0, 1, there's a duplicate uh, matchup, which in this case would be matchup one zero, where these are really the you know it's the same two players, so it's the same matchup. So there's actually ten factorial divided by two number of unique schedules that we can consider. And to extract these, we can just say that we're only interested in matchups where the first player has a smaller ID than the second player. So how do we even build all of these permutations? And this is one of the few times that I'm going to use a tool from another package. So to do that, we're going to say from iter tools import permutations, and then we'll build this uh, perms array using np.array list permutations, and then the list of unique player IDs. And then we can go ahead and print perms. Now this does take a second to run. But when it's finished, you'll see that we have this really big array. It's going to have 10 factorial rows of every permutation of these IDs. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to partition that array into two matrices that represent uh, player one and player two for each game. So player one um, is going to be the player at indices 0, 2, 4, 6, and 8. You can kind of see that uh, in this example we gave up here. And player 2 is going to be located at indices 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. And then the ones, the matchups we want to keep are going to be the ones where player 1, uh, his ID is less than player 2's ID. So we'll say keeps equals np.all p1 less than p2 and we're going to check that along axis one and then we'll set p1 as p1 square brackets keeps and p2 as p2 square brackets keeps so basically that's going to pick out uh, the permutations where um, 
player one is less than player two for every game in the uh, presented schedule. Okay, so it's going to cut uh, this matrix in half, basically. Okay, so then we want to build a matrix where ij gives the expected point differential for the jth pairing in the ith schedule. So what we do here is we use this uh, score diffs array here, and we already have the indices for player one and player two. So just to get the uh, point differentials, all we have to do is say score diffs, square brackets, and then we'll use P1 to get sort of like the row index and P2 to get the corresponding column index. And let's go ahead and print this out. Okay, so these are the point differentials between pairs of players. And then we want to get the sum of squared point differentials for each uh, potential schedule, so each potential set of matchups. So what we'll do is we'll say um, schedule scores equals mp.sum, and then we're going to take the squared point differentials, and we're going to calculate that sum along axis one, so along the column axis. So we get back this big array of uh, squ squared score differentials. And then we want to find the schedule that has the smallest sum of squared point differentials. There could be multiple ones, but we're just looking for one of them. So we'll say um, best index equals np.argmin schedule scores. And that'll give us the index of the smallest uh, value in this array. And then we'll set the best so actually, let me do this first. OK, so apparently the best schedule happens at index 16,490. So then to represent the best schedule, basically we identify the uh, who player one is for this schedule, or the set of player ones, and the set of player twos. And we'll just stack them vertically with vstack. So once we do this, we can print the best schedule. And we can see that it's player 0 versus player 7, 3 versus 6, 1 versus 8, and so on. And just to do a sanity check here, let's take a look at player 0 versus player 7. So player 0 versus player 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Well, they have a score difference of negative 2.15. I mean, if you look at this whole matrix, you can see that's a pretty small number, so that's a good sign. Um, let's check player three versus player six. So we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So their predicted point differential is 2.24, another pretty small number. So it looks like we did this uh, correctly, and we can have the most fun, most optimal start to our table tennis league.